Vodacom Durban July Day served up a trifecta of winners for the Turby Speciard. Basilius takes it up, Kissable Symphonica on the inside and Chanty Man's on the outside, but Basilius and Basilius goes on to win it. Cockney Pride on the inside, what you are, but Cockney Pride's coming back aboard the outside. The yellow silks have Cockney Pride to win it. But Van Halen's going on, running on late as Mythical Bolt, Mythical Bolt, but Van Halen makes it. Van Halen won it. Toby Spies has proven time and again his ability to produce precocious young two-year-olds for punters to back. So what's behind this man? Racing News caught up with him. Is your focus on two-year-old racing something that's developed over time? Well, it actually started off in 1991 and 1992 when Fast Gun and uh, Mysterious Wall won the Bloodline Million at Turfentein. And uh, since then we got the niche of two-year-old races. However, we must remember that I also won long-distance races in those days with Aced and Northern Flame and Yardmaster. What is it about two-year-old racing that you and your patrons find so appealing? I think the two-year-old races is very exciting because it's like to open a lucky packet and the excitement is there. It also gives the owners a chance for a quick return on their investment. There's nothing like watching a juvenile race, horses running for the first time as juveniles, as they do all sorts of funny things in the race, which could sometimes be um, very interesting. When you select yearlings off the sales, do you do so with fast maturing youngsters in mind? The sale of yearlings is where you make or break your stable future. Over the years, my son Corne and I have developed a method of selecting yearlings that seems to work for us. We don't necessarily select for early maturers, but the horses bred for the longer distance races are often too expensive for our stable. And I can tell you this, that Corneille is a master at selecting yearlings at the sales. With new patrons to the game increasingly wanting quick returns on their purchases, do you believe there should be more emphasis on two-year-old racing as in Australia? Uh, yes, the Australian two-year-old races is vastly aimed at the export market because once a juvenile is shown, it can be ex exported for quite a bit of money. And uh, we can hope here in South Africa that once the protocol has been lifted for us as well, we could move in the same direction with our two-year-olds. That could mean a lot to the owners of such a horse that can be exported. We are very thankful and appreciate the BSA and the TBA's initiative to create a bonus system for some of the juvenile races. You'll once again be bringing a string down for the Elan Gold Cup weekend of racing. Who should punters look out for? I think punters could look out for Van Halen. Uh, he's taking on the big boys this time, but uh, he seems to like the gravel track, so uh, he might run well. Uh, then Basilius we try him further with. Uh, he's taken also, he's taken well to the gravel track and uh, the poly track could suit him. Uh, then we're looking forward to the rivalry between Cockney Pride and What You Are. These two had a ding-dong battle in their previous race and there's not much between the two of them. Uh, any one of the two can do it. Then there is Sing for Rafa. She's going over a shorter distance this time. That will suit her well and I think Panthers can look out for her. Lastly, when do you plan to travel your horses down to KZN? Uh, like you know, we're not scared to travel our horses to other centres. This shipment will travel as normally about a day or two before the race meeting at Gravel and uh, that's how we normally do it. Mm -hmm.